make yourself comfortable and get ready for this magical adventure in your imagination. Take a deep breath in and out and start to feel your body sinking down and feeling more relaxed than it has ever felt before. Let go of any tension, any worries, anything that you're holding on to from the day. And with another deep breath in and out, let's start to imagine. Close your eyes if you haven't already. And now you find yourself in a beautiful forest that's full of big tall fern trees bigger than you have ever seen before they're such a bright bright green color in their fronds and the trunks are brown it is quite damp in this forest and you can see raindrops on the ferns dripping down slowly onto the forest floor. The ground here is slightly damp, which is great because it helps all sorts of plants and fungi grow. There's a path through this forest and you start to walk down it and as you walk you spot different fungi. Fungi includes mushrooms and toadstools and all sorts of this plant slash animal. In case you didn't know, that's what fungi is. It's not a plant, it's not an animal. It's in its very own special category. You can see all sorts, tiny little fungi, smaller than your little fingernail. They have a very thin stalk and a rounded cap. You can see these in white colour, orange, red. You see toadstools with a very long stalk. And these are bigger than your hand. They have a brown top. Sometimes the top of the fungi is rounded and shaped like a bell. And other times it's flat. As you walk you see yellow and orange and purple fungi in the shape of ocean corals. You see fungi stuck onto trees in the shape of plates called bracket fungi. These can be brown or white or sometimes brown on top and white underneath. There's even a type of fungi that grows on trees and it's black and circular and looks like diced black olives. You see fungi that's purple and pink and the top isn't flat, it's curved the opposite way, so it's like a little cup filled up with water. There are green fungi and blue fungi and just more fungi than you could ever imagine. Now, as you're walking along this path, you hear the birds twittering. And as you look up to the trees, you see red-bellied robins and blue-tailed wrens. And they're hopping about from tree to tree and flittering up and catching insects in the sky. It's a magical place here. And as you continue to walk, you start to hear the wish -a wish -a wish -a of the trees. And in the distance you can hear a babbling brook and perhaps even a waterfall. 
you notice a path off to the side of this main track and you decide to follow it. You walk down through the tall ferns and you come to a clearing. It's just a small clearing. It's only as big as if you lay down. But in this clearing are all sorts of tiny fungi. And the fungi grows up onto the trees. And on this tree, with all these little fungi clustered together, it almost looks like some fairy apartments. And as you look closer, and imagine how the fairies would live in these apartments. You see something move. Something with wings. It darts out of your vision so you can't get a good look. But it was something colourful. Hmm. Just imagine if it was a fairy. You say, hello. I'm, I'm safe and I'd like to meet you if you're here. Whoever you are, whatever you are, I love all animals. And you look closer where the flying thing went to in the fungi on the tree. And as you look closer, you can see a little window and from that window is a tiny little face peeking out oh sure enough it is a fairy you give a wave and your friendliest smile and the fairy comes out of her little apartment and she flies up and hovers in front of your face she has a beautiful dress on made out of petals and she's smiling and waving now too. Hello, she says. What's your name? And you tell her your name and she tells you that her name is Fronda. And Fronda tells you that these are the fairy apartments for all the fairies that are here to take care of the ferns because that's the job of fairies is to care for nature and there are so many ferns in this place that there needs to be a lot of fairies so they've built this special fungi apartment block to house a lot of the fairies all in one place would you like to meet some of my friends? says Fronda. Oh yes, please, you tell her. So she flitters around, knocking on the different apartments of the tree. And out come so many different fairies, wearing all different coloured dresses. Some of them are even wearing fairy tops and pants, because not all fairies need to wear dresses. You've never seen that before, but you think it's quite clever how they've sewn their pants together out of petals. You do notice that none of them are wearing shoes, because I suppose fairies don't need to wear shoes because they can fly, although maybe they have some shoes for when their feet get cold or when they need to land on the ground. You ask Fronda, and she says, oh yes, we have shoes. We just don't need to wear them all the time. And we've just come out of our apartments, where we can be bare feet, barefooted, however you say that word. Hey, I have an idea, says Fronda, with the group of other fairies hovering behind her and smiling. Let's take you on the rest of the walk. I've got something to show you up near the waterfall. 
Sure, I'd love that, you say. And so Fronda flies back to the main path and you follow her with all the other fairies behind you. You follow her up the main path further than you had walked because you turned off to this little path. And the path starts to get thinner and steeper. And then you reach some stone steps, which you carefully walk up. And then a little bridge between two big bending ferns that create almost an arch overhead. And as you pass the bridge, you can hear the waterfall. A few more stone steps and the fairies all flutter in front of you. They're very excited. You reach the waterfall. In front of you is a huge, tall cliff. And down it, water pouring, and it's the loudest sound. The water is turned white from how fast it is gushing over the waterfall. We have something extra to show you, says Fronda. And she leads you over, around the path, and carefully towards the waterfall. Are you happy to get wet, she says. Mm, you think about it. You've got a big walk back, and you don't want to get cold. I'll have to do a spell, says Fronda. And the fairies all get together and they wave their wands at you and some glittering sparkling light comes out from their wands towards you and it forms a big bubble around you. Fronda tells you this is called a magic bubble and these magic bubbles you can create around yourself if you want to. They are very useful because they allow only positive energy to come into you and into your space. And anything negative, anything that you don't want to come into your space simply washes off it. She says she's given this bubble extra protection today and you can even use it to let the waterfall water wash down off you so you don't get wet. Isn't that fantastic? Very magical. Fronda shows you where to step very carefully because you must be sure to step carefully if the ground is wet beneath you. And the fairies all fly over and half the group takes hold of one hand and half the group takes hold of the other to help keep you steady as you step. You step towards the waterfall and Fronda says to step through the waterfall now. Through the waterfall? Well, you hope that this is one of those special, magical looking caves that are behind waterfalls and not just hard rock behind the water because you definitely don't want to bump into some rock. You decide to reach your hand out first to check and sure enough, as you reach your hand through, it's all dry and open on the other side. You step through and there's a little cave there and this cave is full of glowing dots. They're fairies. Wow, you say. This is magical. <laughs> Indeed it is, says Fonda. This is where the water fairies live and they take care of the water here to make sure it is pure and clean and flowing and available for all the animals and fairies to drink. The dots start flying over to you now and soon you have a big group of hovering glowing dots in front of you. Wow, this is one magical walk in the forest. 
You can see their faces when they come close enough, because of the glow around them. These fairies seem to be wearing more clothes than the other fairies because it's a bit chilly here behind the waterfall. You smile and wave and say hello to them. And they ask you if you would like to see how they live. They lead you over towards the walls and you notice another light now. It's glowing fungi attached onto the walls of this cave. Wow, what an amazing way to live. This fungi comes in all different colours as well. There are white fungi and green fungi and all of them glow, kind of like a night light. You look all around the cave and have a few moments to chat with the fairies now. And then you'll head back down the path towards home. The waterfall fairies and the fern fairies say goodbye to each other with smiles and hugs. And as you say goodbye, you are suddenly surrounded by all the waterfall fairies. They fly right up to you and give you tiny, tiny hugs with their arms outstretched on your arms, on your face. You can feel the tiniest of kisses. They tell you you can come back here anytime just to fetch the fern fairies first so they can help you come into the waterfall safely. As you go out of the waterfall, smiling and heart full, the fern fairies hold your arms again and help you watch your step. You walk back down the path chatting with the fern fairies, asking all the fairy questions you've ever had. And soon you're back at their apartments. They give you big cuddles, well, little cuddles, a big cloud of little cuddles and kisses as well, before flying away into their tiny little apartments, hiding away so humans can't see them. Only those who believe and only those who are kind in their hearts. You walk the rest of the path back down to where we started and you sit down on a bench that's there for resting on. And as you take three deep breaths in and out and close your eyes you start to come back to your body, out of your imagination and into your bed where you are feeling cosy and relaxed and ready for sleep.